Okay, uh, for today's video, we'll be going through practical electricity revision. Okay, before I start on a new chapter in the next video, uh, next concepts in the next video, yeah. So, uh, these are the success criteria. Describe the use of the heating effects of electricity in appliances such as electric kettles, ovens, and heaters. So, as you know, electricity can be converted to other forms of energy. So, one, uh, one example is electricity energy electrical energy can be converted into thermal energy okay or even light energy all right so uh, we usually use heating elements that are long and thin okay we use heating elements that are long and thin if they are long and thin Remember in the previous chapter, we did this uh, resistance. It actually depends on the resistivity of the object of that material followed by the length and area. So if I have something that is long and thin, that means my length is high and my cross-sectional area is low, right? If my length is high, my cross-sectional area is low, that means my resistance will be high. So you must be wondering why do I need resistance to be high? This is so that when the electrons pass through these high resistance elements, for example, let's say this a uh, heating element made up of nichrome. Okay, as you can see, it has um, a very long length, very thin cross-sectional area. So the resistance of this nichrome wire will be very high. R uh, will be very high. And because we are using nichrome, the resistivity is also high. Okay, compared to copper, where the resistivity is low, that's why we use it as a connecting uh, wire, right? So with this, the resistance is going to become very high. So when electrons pass through them, they will be transferring a lot of their electrical energy into thermal energy. Okay, and that will achieve our aim of converting from electrical energy to thermal energy. Okay, then for tungsten, it is used in filament lamp, right? So the tungsten again is long and thin. We purposely coil it so we can accommodate a long length in this uh, filament lamp. So the tungsten resistance will be very high. This uh wire will be very high in resistance so when electrons pass through it it will become very hot right and this will start to glow so your light light will be given out okay light will be given out okay so this is uh, a whereby we use electrical energy uh, and how do we convert it to other forms of energy Okay, so for B, right, uh, recall and apply the relationship P equals VI and P E equals VIT. Okay, we have learned in a previous chapter, uh, power equals to energy over time. Okay, and this energy, it is SI unit of joules. Time is seconds. Power is watt. Okay, so how do we link it to form P equals to VI because this is a formula that we'll be, be using in this chapter. Uh, previous chapter, we also learned Q equals to IT. Okay, what is Q? Q is your charge. The unit is coulombs. I is your current. And your A is your, sorry, I is a uh, current. Unit is A. T is in seconds, SI unit, yeah. We also learned that uh, work done or energy equals to sorry v equals to w over q where your w is actually your work done which is your energy so units is joules q is your coulombs and v is your voltage or potential difference okay so if i were to substitute my Q equals to IT into this formula, I will get V equals to work done over IT. So I'm replacing my Q with IT, right? Because Q equals IT. 
and I will then have this formula VIT equals to work done. Okay, now work done is also energy. So I will have this formula VIT. V is potential difference multiplied by current and time. I will get energy. Okay, if I uh, bring my T over, it becomes E over T, right? And this will then become my power. So in the end, you have this uh, formula P equals IV. Okay, so you need to memorize this formula P equals IV. So even if you don't know how to derive this formula from using these two uh, formulas that we have learned before, all you need to do is memorize this formula P equals IV. Okay, P's unit is W watts. I is ampere. V will be volt. So everything has to be in SI unit. Okay. Um, so you also may need to know this formula E equals to VIT, which is the energy is equal to voltage or PD multiplied by current times time. Okay. And this is the SI unit of energy. Um, then we also need to finally calculate the cost of using electrical appliances where the unit energy unit is kWh. Okay, so for part C, we are dealing with this uh, unit called kWh. So this is actually kilo, this is watt, and this is hour. Now, kilowatt is the unit for power P, right? Hour is the unit for time. So this is kWh, meaning it is kW multiplied by H. And since kW is the unit for power and H is the unit for time, so I have P multiplied by T. And P multiplied by T is actually equals to your energy. Okay, so the government is actually implementing this KWH to calculate the cost of using electrical energy in our daily life. Okay, but because if I just use K multiplied by T, because T SI unit is seconds, right? If I don't convert it to hours, then I will have a case whereby the energy calculated in joules will be very large. So uh, government wants to keep that to a uh, minimum so they change it to kwh but essentially you are using the same amount of energy just that the way of representing the energy use is different okay so meaning to say every time you have a a problem let's say you have a 2000 watt iron okay and you use it for uh, 30 minutes 30 minutes huh? so if I were to calculate the energy that is used I will use E equals to uh, VIT but because I'm only given power I will have to convert my VI into power which is 2000 and this time in SI unit will be 30 times 60 seconds equals to 1800 seconds so it will be 2000 multiplied by 1800 seconds and I'll get this very large number in joules. Okay, but imagine this number, big number is presented to your parents. They'll be very alarmed, right? They'll say, hey, why do we have so much energy? Okay, so instead what we should do now when calculating cost of electricity, we must convert it to KW. So this is 2000 divide by 1000 I will get 1 K sorry 2 kW and this is 30 minutes I have to convert it to hours because remember we are dealing with kWh so this is half an hour so let us do our calculation again E equals to power times time the power in this case now is 2 kilowatt so I just leave it as 2 because I'm supposed to do my calculation in kWh my time is supposed to be in hours, so it is half. 
So this will end up as 1kWh, right? And 1kWh, right now the electricity cost, the cost of using electricity is about, uh, if I'm, because it fluctuates, right? Depends on the situation. So 1kWh generally, right now, maybe is 22 cents. That means for this iron, if I use it, if I use this 2000 watt iron, for 30 minutes in a day then i will be using 1kwh of energy and because the government charging me 1kwh for 22 cents i will be paying 22 cents for this usage okay so you have to learn how to convert your power to kw and your time to hours every time you see dollar or money being mentioned asking you to calculate the cost okay